This Military Makeover is presented by ABC Supply. Military Makeover is in Georgia for its 23rd Military Makeover, and we're honored to make over the home of Master Gunnery Sergeant Marcelino Marquez and his family. And guess what? Nature has thrown us its toughest curveballs yet. Weather, coronavirus, COVID-19. We're proud to take on this challenge for a remarkable veteran and his family, a Master Gunnery Sergeant in the Marine Corps, Master Guns. For Marcelino Marquez, a career of 27 years encompassing a lifetime and a difficult journey. Leaving high school, he wanted to get away from home and on with his life. Inspired by a cousin who was a Marine, Marcelino enlisted. A career so long, both active duty and the reserves, can't be easily summarized. It's included two tours in Okinawa, two in Iraq, and two in Afghanistan. Rising through the ranks, Marcelino was a mortar man, a lad gunner, and then there was the job that left the deepest mark, five years in mortuary affairs. One of the toughest jobs in the world, the search for and recovery of the remains of those who have died on the battlefield and beyond, returning them home to their families and the country that they gave their lives for as soon as possible. No one does this work and walks away unscathed. Marcelino is going to share his story with us. Operation Marquez family starts right now. The critical step of managing the family's belongings is in the hands of our friends from Pods, along with the muscle to get it done. All right, right now with Marquez, we're doing two forms of our storage. One is an on-site option, which is a seven-foot container that's gonna remain on the property. The other is for the Marquez family, so they can take their personal belongings out of the home, put them in a storage center, secure them in the building, climate controlled, keep them safe. When they want access to it, 24-hour appointment, you can make sure that everything that leaves in the container comes back in the same way it was shipped out. Trying to get the kids ready for the move was a really big hassle because they don't understand that our house is gonna look amazing and they didn't wanna leave. So we had to kick them out to grandma's house. They're now there. So far, it's been a lot of work trying to pack up the house, but I'm just looking forward to get it all done. It's gonna be a completely different house than what I've lived in for 20 years. I'm gonna be excited to see what it is because I need some love and they haven't been able to give it. We're really excited to be part of this whole process. We have a lot of experience with moving military families and know that there's a lot of things that come with that. There are things that change, things that happen, and we're always here to support them. And we're, again, really excited to be here. When you're loading the container, as you can hear in the background, the ratchet straps are being done. You want to keep your heavier contents, your bulkier furniture on the bottom, and as you would imagine, heavy on the bottom, work your way up to the light on top. But you want to take full advantage of the entire size of the container that we're using. Go eight foot in the ceiling, stand your couches up on end. Pack four feet, use ratchet straps. All our containers have tie down points every four feet so you can secure and pack four feet at a time. And that way your contents are not gonna shift, they're not gonna move, and they're all gonna be protected. I have about 50 employees right now that work for me between my all my markets that I'm in charge of. We make it a point to look at veterans. Um, they've given us so much sacrifice in their life right now, and this is the least we could do is opportunity for them to serve back and help a community move, help a customer, help another veteran. For me, this is an honor to even be asked to be here. To do a military makeover is a fraction of what anyone can do to give back for the sacrifice the Marquet has made in his life. Construction manager Ryan Stanley's been on the project for months, and now he's here to go full-time, boots on the ground. Okay, so here we are, day one of the makeover. I need to go make sure everything's ready. I see we got the pod containers, there's some furniture outside. So I'll just make sure that Marcelino and them are all ready to go. And of course, this day and age, you gotta wear your mask. Hello, hello, hello. Where you guys at? Hi. Hey guys, 
what's going on? What's How's going on? on? So Good. today is the big day. How are we feeling? We excited. All right, where's the kids at? Uh, they were just sitting on the sofa not being really helpful, so we sent them a grandma. Okay, get them out of the way. I can dig it, I can dig it. Well, it looks like everything's packed up. Furnitures are out of here. I got a lot of work to do, so I just need you guys to get your personal belongings and get out. All right, let's go. All right, we'll see you guys see on the you. flip side, because it's demo time. I'm really excited to meet Montel and sit down and talk to him and uh, be able to give him my story and tell him what I've gone through and had to deal with in my Marine Corps career. This whole situation helps me be put in a place where others know that it's okay to talk. It's okay to tell people, hey, I had this issue, I had this problem for my deployment, and I'm not gonna be looked at as less of a man for being able to tell them that story. We get amazing donations on our makeovers. And really key, our dumpsters. In there, dump that likes giving back to the veteran community and in several ways, we like hiring veterans. We supply a lot of dumpsters free of charge to VFWs and American legions when they find people in need of a good clean out. Pods has accomplished the big first step. Now, fun time. All right, so the movers are done, the house is empty, the pod containers are off site and our dumpsters arrived. I got a bunch of volunteers here and we're ready for demo. You guys all ready? Yeah. All right, put your mask on, let's go. As you can see, all the floors are gone. This kitchen is out of here. Starting with a nice blank slate. Ladies are taking care of the linoleum. So for the end of the day, we're really good. We just got a lot of cleaning up to do. And for us to do that, I need you guys to get out of here and go so we can finish up. See you later. Coming up, the big upgrade on siding and windows and precision tools for our team. This military makeover is brought to you in part by Caption Call. All right, we have another beautiful day here on Military Makeover. I got a bunch of people here. I have my siding guys, window guys, electricians, plumbers, volunteers. So first thing I'm gonna do is my morning huddle, get everybody together, get a game plan, and get this show on the road. Hey, good morning, fellas. How are we doing? Good morning. All right, we have siding and windows here today, correct? All right, who's siding? And windows. Windows. All right, so just give me a quick rundown of what you're going to do. Okay. We're going to start on the front of the house. We're going to start ripping out the vinyl siding and also the old house wrap behind it. Okay. We're going to come behind them and rip out all the windows. Perfect. I'll let you guys at it. So good luck today. If you need anything, just come find me. Great. Right, thank, thank you. you. Pandemic or not, we've got some terrific volunteers, and Ryan gets them going. Now, it's time to rip the old siding off. So we're able to partner with a few different contractors on this project, including Quinn Windows and uh, Make a Choice Siding Contractors. Uh, we're able to replace the siding on the existing home, also able to replace the windows and doors with energy efficient windows and doors for the Marquez family. We're a company that's actually been around for about nine years. We specialize in exterior siding, uh, roofing, and gutters and painting. We always like to give back to the community. We always like to help out. So we're excited to be here and uh, helping out the community. So as you can see, the guys behind me are tearing down the siding now. The next thing will come through is they will prep the window, they'll remove the windows and prep them for the new windows to go in. All right, so as you can see, the siding is down. Our guys have removed the windows, the old aluminum windows with clear glass. We're going back with an ABC Supply Norandex double hung window. It's got energy efficient low E glass screens and the homeowner is going to be able to lower the top so they can clean the outside of the window. We're also coming in here with new doors. We're going back with a smooth fiberglass paintable door from Thermatru. It's got a rot proof jam, an adjustable metal threshold, and all the exterior trim is PVC. So I'm gonna get out of here, let these guys come in, 
put the house wrap on, and then we'll be ready to do our windows. All right, so I just checked in with my boys. I got Eric, I got Trevor, I got Alfonso. They're going over the list, everything we're gonna do today. Today is really about getting all the messy construction work. Finishing the drywall, scraping the floors, cleaning everything up. We got the siding going on. Now these guys are so happy right now. Rocky Mountain Twist gave me a bunch of Montana brand stuff. We have an assortment of driver bits, drill bits, We've got diamond tile tools and our new recipe tool, and we have a lot of other PTA type programs here. Rocky Mountain Twist and Montana Brand Tools is a U.S. manufacturer of power tool accessories and industrial quality cutting tools such as drill bits. We decided to get involved with Military Makeover because we wanted to support our veterans and especially our military. Uh, we're very proud of them and we want to support them fully. Montana Brand. Rely on them for state-of-the-art precision and innovation, all made in the USA. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming out, and I guess I'll see you in the house. All right, sounds great. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, so I can't wait to use all these wonderful tools. I got lots of uses for them. I need to get this stuff inside and get back to work. Coming up, beautiful new floors. Then Montel talks to Master Gunnery Sergeant Marcelino Marquez. This military makeover is brought to you in part by My Computer Career. Tarkent is the third largest flooring company in uh, the world. What we've brought today is uh, ProGen, NewGen Click and Glue Down. ProGen is one of our most popular products. It's our flagship product. It's 100% waterproof. It's 5,000 PSI, so it's pretty much harder than concrete. So with the Marquez family, they have a busy lifestyle with pets, kids, and it's gonna bring that durability, it's gonna have that look, and then it's, it's gonna bring fashion into their home. Tarkett is a huge supporter of the military and we're happy to be partnering with Military Makeover. My dad was a disabled veteran, so I saw the struggles and trials that he went through. So when I got the call to do military makeover for the Marquez family, I couldn't wait to get the opportunity. After our team got things underway at the house, I had the pleasure of sitting down to speak with our veteran, Master Gunnery Sergeant Marcelino Marquez. So Marcelino, what, what made you decide to enlist in the Marine Corps and when did you come in? I saw my cousin who had enlisted in the Marine Corps and I saw a chance. I wanted to join the Marine Corps because I wanted to do what he had enlisted to do. And I jumped, I joined. So you enlisted, you served for four years and then you went ahead and got out? I got out and then 9-11 uh, happened. I saw the towers get hit. And for me, uh, I realized at that moment I needed to come back in the Marine Corps. And then what made you decide to shift over to mortuary affairs? When we got back from Iraq, uh, we were told the unit was closing. Uh, they said, hey, if you want, you could switch over to one of the other units and, or you could join the mortuary affairs unit. Let's explain what this is. Do you actually go out and retrieve the precious remains or do you handle the precious remains in theater prepping them to be sent back to Dover. So the Marine Corps is kind of unique in the mission because we actually will go into a combat area, retrieve them, and then prep them for transportation to Dover. It's like one of those things where you try to contemplate what you saw. It must have been hard. The memory of some of those stay with me. And I remember names. I, I, it, if I'm seeing a, a wall of remembrance where they have all the pictures, uh, I, I don't necessarily, if I see their face, I have flashbacks. It, it, it has stayed with me for years. And you see these precious remains at all stages. Yes. And so what we will always do is we have a time period. We have 24 hours to get them ready to get them sent home because the sooner we get them back to their families, the sooner their families get to see the funeral, get to have that closure. Coming up. You could tell the adults and you could tell the children. And for me, the hardest part was knowing there were children that had died.
the sooner we get them back to their families, the sooner their families get to see the funeral, get to have that closure. Once you finished that job and you came back, what was your next role? I finished the job, I came back, and then 09, I deployed to Afghanistan again as a mortuary affairs unit. So that deployment was the one that I had the most difficulties because I had children. Uh, so when you have children, it, it brings a whole new set of problems because you see small children and it makes you realize, hey, that could have been my son. That could have been my daughter that died and that marketplace bombed me. And for me, that's the anxiety I developed over, over the years because I held that in and I didn't tell no one. What are you doing to, to help cope with them now? I learned over the years to get help, to talk to people. One of my counselors told me is tell the story. When you tell the story of the stuff that you've gone through, that story loses its grip over you. Could you share it with us? Yeah. So I can. It was March, April of 2010. Um, we, we had already processed hundreds of remains, angels, and I walked into the morgue and the, there was, just like the movies, it, it was bodies with blood and, and white sheets over them. And I walked in and, and I saw it and you could tell the adults and you could tell the children. And for me, the hardest part was knowing there were children that had died. I held that on for so long that it, its grip over me was difficult. It, it would make me drink, it would make me lash out. And for me, it made me not, especially when I was gone from my children, it made me suffer. And finally, when I told that story, it lost its grip over me. Imagine holding that story for 10 years. Wow. What I learned is tell my Marines, if you got something difficult, talk to people, tell them. Don't hold it in. Right. Unfortunately for me, I was taught in the Marine Corps, you, you hold it in because if you'd seek counseling or seek help, you would look not as strongly. I think we as a society are starting to figure out and understand that mental trauma isn't weakness, it's trauma. I don't know of anybody who could on a regular basis deal with some of the images that you've had to deal with. So I say again for all of us, thank you. Thank you. What do you say to another family member or somebody who doesn't quite understand the trauma that you went through? Be understanding. Uh, help them get the help they need. Uh, sometimes we could be difficult. Sometimes we could be hard hit. But a hug, a I love you, goes a lot further than, than hateful words. And that is worth more money than any, any amount of money in the world. Join veterans, volunteers, our business partners, and our friends as we push forward in spite of the pandemic. Make sure you join us on the next Military Makeover. Coming up on our next episode, flooring, siding, solar panels, and so much more. Watch the next episode of Military Makeover.